All right guys, so I think today's video is going to be a full arm workout in 4K. That being said, we're gonna do buys, tries, and a little bit of abs. I don't know if I'm gonna record the abs, but we're definitely going to go over the biceps and the triceps. So a couple things to think about while you are designing your arm workout. One, you have two heads of the bicep and three heads of the tricep. You wanna make sure to hit all of them or a majority of them. Just make sure you keep your exercises nice and variable. In addition to working different rep ranges, different weights, different tempos, just to stress the muscle fibers in its entirety. I can't really give recommendations on what's gonna work best for you, but I can give you general recommendations to just make sure you're working the muscle in its entirety. For example, to hit the inside of the bicep or the short head, um, on the inside, you might want a little bit of a wider grip. All right, so we turn it around. So you might want your grip to be a little bit wider on the barbell. Uh, if you want to hit the outside, like right about here, maybe have a closer grip uh, on the barbell or any sort of bicep movement. So with that being said, let's get into it. I think we're gonna start with a barbell bicep curl. So personal preference, since the biceps are an accessory muscle group, I like to keep my reps a little bit higher with my biceps. So usually 10, 12, 15, sometimes 20 reps. So that being said, I am doing two sets of 20 just to get a lot of blood flow and a good amount of almost pre-exhaustion. And then going from there to like three sets of eight to 10 reps to kind of stress the lower rep range. <laughs> So one of the biggest things with biceps, I feel, is making sure you keep your forearm as long as possible. And obviously your, the length of your forearm isn't gonna change at all, but a big factor in making a bicep curl more difficult is making sure your elbow stays right beneath your shoulder. Because what happens with a lot of times is people will either drive their elbows back and make it easier because that forearm length is now shortening. So right beneath your shoulder, if you draw a line straight to the ground, that pivot point is changing, making your lever much shorter, making the movement easier. So try not to drive your elbows back at all. Keep your elbows right by your sides, if not forward. to our first tricep movement. So keep in mind while you see us doing triceps through this entire workout, a couple things. Basically, the closer your elbow is to your body, so if you're doing a row push down like we're gonna do, or if you're doing a dip, or even a close grip bench, the outside part of the tricep is gonna be working the most here. And conversely, anything with your elbows a little bit wider out from the body, so say like a wide grip push down or an overhead extension, the inside part of your tricep is gonna be working, mostly. And the last thing, if your hands are neutral or even turned over, so your palms are facing up and you're pulling down, you're gonna work the third head, which is actually underneath the middle head of the tricep, that'll hit the top of the horseshoe. So just keep that in mind while you see us doing these triceps. with her bicep curl is she's stopping about 90% of the way up. Good. Stopping that far up is going to keep tension in the bicep. Whereas if you come all the way up and you curl all the way to basically your chest, where is gravity pulling? Straight down. Where is your forearm facing? Straight down. So you're gonna get a rest there and your bicep's gonna get to relax. Whereas coming to this point in the movement, about 90% of the way up, that weight is gonna be pulling down from here in front of your body, I know it's kind of hard to do with one hand, it's going to be pulling down in front of your body instead of straight down into the forearm, keeping that tension in the bicep. So that's a huge tip with any bicep movement. <laughs> Head 
tricep rope extension is going to work the inside part of the tricep, mainly because a lot of people don't know this, that this part of the tricep actually inserts onto your shoulder blade, onto the lateral part of your shoulder blade. So any movement bringing your elbow away from your side is gonna stretch out that head of the tricep, therefore making it work harder. All right, so I didn't film it, but I just did a drop set and I wanted to tell you guys, <coughs> started at, uh, I did 12 reps, nice and slow and controlled. So I did probably like a two second eccentric on the way back, followed by like a two second concentric. So really slow, dropped it to 35 pounds, uh, did another 15 reps, dropped it to 25 pounds, did another 15 reps. Both of these were very fast paced. So like almost partial reps, so not even extending out, squeezing all the way at the front. So basically going the middle 80% coming back not all the way, not even extending all the way, keeping a lot of tension in the tricep just to get a lot of blood flow. Now towards the end of the workout is when you wanna do that. You wanna make sure you're getting a lot of blood to the areas. The last bicep movement, I like filming Yami and talking about what she's doing because it's a lot easier than doing it on myself. So here, she's focusing on keeping her elbow nice and high. Like I was talking about before with the other bicep movement with the curl, keeping your elbow forward instead of back. Keeping the elbow up nice and high is gonna give you a mechanical disadvantage, which in my opinion is good in stressing the muscle from a more or less muscle building point of view. And uh, so making sure you're not cheating yourself and dropping the elbow back or dropping the elbow down and then curling in is huge in making sure you're stimulating the, the bicep specifically the way you want it to be stimulated. tricep movement of the day is going to be a reverse grip tricep push down. So this is gonna hit that middle part of the tricep like I had mentioned earlier, up here and the top of the tricep. So it's very important to hit every single head of the tricep during your arm workout. So with the rope push down, we hit the outside. With the overhead extension, we hit the inside and now we're gonna hit the middle. The tip that I like to give people for any tricep push down movement is this. Instead of standing right next to the pulley, and pushing down and locking out all the way. Take a tiny step back and drive the elbows forward, all right? So what this is gonna do is at the bottom of the movement, you see my arm is no longer in line with the cable. So traditionally, if you push down, you can see the, the pulley and my arm are pretty much parallel to one another. That's gonna mean you can lock out, you can relax, you can give your triceps a rest. So in order to avoid that, you want to separate yourself from the pulley a little bit. Take a step back, drive the elbows forward so you can maintain tension in the triceps now. Nice and slow controlled, drive, squeeze. Now at the very end, I'm still walking out, but I am no longer giving my triceps a rest. We just got back home and I figured I'd finish up the vlog right here for you guys instead of doing it in the car or walking out to the car. <clears throat> but the take home for any exercise, not just arms, is making sure you're feeling the movement. And you know, a lot of people just go through the movements without really thinking about what they're doing and without really maximizing it and without really taking a second to think about exactly how to make the exercise most efficient. You know, whether it's losing form or you know, relaxing at the beginning or the end of any movement and not really thinking about and doing doing it with a purpose. So just, I guess my message to you guys is do everything with a purpose in the gym and outside of the gym, you know, this can apply to anything, but for uh, purposes of staying with this video, when it comes to arms, when it comes to lifting, just make sure you are doing it for a reason and that will completely change everything uh, about your workout. So. Please comment below with any questions you guys might have, any advice or any 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 comments whatsoever, really. Uh, I welcome them, I enjoy them, I, I enjoy reading comments on anything, any advice, any knowledge that you can share with me or any discussion we can start in the comment section. I would love that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.